In this video, we're going to demonstrate how VSP organizes and catalogs all the different parameters with their identification, their values, when you have multiple components and multiple models across your system. Let's say, for example, you have a wing and you'd like to adjust the span. Well, that's easy enough. We can just move this slider around. But let's say you want to know more about this parameter. You want to know maybe where it's located in the model hierarchy. For any parameter in any component in VSP, if you click the button where the name is, it's going to bring up the parameter window. And here it will give you the name, the group that it belongs to, a description, minimum and maximum values, as well as current values, and also any links or advanced links that are associated with this parameter. And the reason this is useful is it helps you quickly identify where in the model this parameter is located. So as an example, let's say you want to use span as a design variable in your wing component. Well, we can go to wing, cross section one, come down here and choose span and then add. Now notice we can adjust our span here and it's added it for us. And that was really easy to find because the parameter info told me where it was. But what if we want to go even faster? Let's take the root cord and notice how the cursor is here. I've simply clicked, drag, and drop. And now the root cord is a parameter that I can control. And this works anywhere where you're doing a variable selection operation. You can drag and drop. So let's look at what happens, say, in the link window. Here you have your choice between two different variables that you can link together from a linear relationship. Let's say that we want to have the tip cord and the root cord linked together. Let's add link. Note that the tip cord is the driven component, the root cord is the driver, and all of those are together. If we click on this, notice how it says that I am being driven by the tip cord. So the drag and drop operations are very intuitive and very useful in OpenVSP, and it's a very handy way of navigating around and linking components and pre-selecting the parameters that you care about. And what's really going on under the hood here is that every parameter and every component in every model in VSP has a unique 11 character identification. So let's drag our span to a text editor and notice that you can copy and paste that 11 character string associated with that parameter. So when VSP is looking to change something, this is the thing that it's looking for. So if you ever need to use a search to try and find that parameter, say in the OpenVSP VSP3 file, you can search for it, find it, and it will tell you everything that you need to know about that parameter. So that is how OpenVSP keeps track of all its parameters. It's how you can quickly interact with parameters, link them together, get identification, or add them to groups.